In a time not so long ago, the diagnosis of type 1 diabetes was akin to a death sentence. The relentless progression of the disease left individuals weak, emaciated, and with a life expectancy measured in only a handful of years. There were no effective treatments, and hope was in short supply. Then, amidst the darkness, a glimmer of hope emerged at the University of Toronto in the early 1920s. Sir Frederick Banting, a Canadian surgeon, and his young colleague Charles Best embarked on a daring quest to change the fate of those afflicted by diabetes. With determination and scientific curiosity as their guides, they ventured into uncharted territory. In a modest laboratory, they conducted experiments that would alter the course of medical history. Banting and Best, with the assistance of James Collip and the support of J.J.R. McLeod, worked tirelessly to isolate a mysterious substance from the pancreas that could regulate blood sugar levels. Little did they know, they were on the brink of a groundbreaking discovery. The turning point came on January 11, 1922, when they administered the first-ever injections of insulin to a 14-year-old boy named Leonard Thompson. In the face of a dire prognosis, Leonard's condition miraculously improved. The room that once echoed with despair now resonated with the hope of a new beginning. Insulin had been discovered, and its transformative power was nothing short of miraculous. No longer was type 1 diabetes a swift and merciless executioner, it became a condition that could be managed. The once somber tale of diabetes was rewritten into a story of resilience, scientific ingenuity, and the triumph of the human spirit. Insulin injections became the elixir of life for those with diabetes, offering them the chance to regulate their blood sugar levels and embrace a healthier future. The narrative shifted from a tragic tale of inevitable loss to one of perseverance, innovation, and the dawn of a new era in medicine. The discovery of insulin didn't just extend lives, it breathed life into a community that had long lived in the shadows. Sir Frederick Banting and his colleagues had not only unlocked the secrets of insulin but had also unlocked the door to a brighter and more hopeful future for countless individuals with type 1 diabetes. Thank you for watching this video and joining us on the Science Nexus journey. Stay tuned for more exciting discoveries and insights.